Ooh, that AFC North secondary getting shaken up, ain't it? First, Von Bell, now former Cincinnati Bengals, he goes and signs with the Panthers. Then Jesse Bates, who played on a franchise tag in Cincy last year, he goes and signs a $64 million deal with the Falcons. Then Cam Sutton, now a former Pittsburgh Steeler, he, and I liked him, by the way, he's really good, uh, but he went and signed a deal with the Lions, and they building something special over there. Like last year was a nice little start, but now they just got to build off of that so they can get even better. Um, and now, boom. Patrick Peterson, the, the Steelers were like, oh, you know what? We lost one. We lost Cam Sutton. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Bring on P2. So Patrick Peterson, former Arizona Cardinal, and that's where he got drafted uh, from LSU, I believe. And, you know, like, time goes by so fast. It, it, like, it, he's been in the league for 12 years. Well, that just give you a nice reminder how old you're getting. But anyway, um, he started with the Cardinals, then spent the last couple of years with the Vikings, and apparently he wanted to stay with the Vikings. I'm not sure what the details were. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure if he was offered something or he wasn't offered. I, I just don't know. Um, but business happened, and he's like, okay, well, I'll head over to Pittsburgh. And they have agreed to sign him to a two-year deal, and apparently – he only wants to play two more years in the league so he can ride it out with Pittsburgh. He can finish his career with Pittsburgh. Now, um, I hadn't been watching Patrick Peterson for the past couple of years. Um, but I, saw, like, I see he's 32 years old right now. So initially I'm thinking, okay, yeah, he's obviously getting up there in age, especially since he's been in the league for 12 years. But I saw, I saw he had five picks last year. So, hey, he doing something right. He doing something right. And to be able to get five picks, I know it is a passing league, but still to be able to get five picks and for them to actually be all registered to you not be taken away because, you know, like NFL is all about offense. It's all about offense. Defense, especially cornerback is probably the hardest position to play uh, in the NFL. Well, besides quarterback. Well, I'm, well, yeah, I mean, you can make your argument for both, but cornerback got to be one of the hardest positions to play. Because you can't do anything. You can do everything right. And if the wide receiver even makes a, a wrong look, even if they look like they fail, they didn't they ain't even got to fall, even if they look like they fail. Oh, pass interference. Spot foul, pass interference. Oh, okay, that's a 40-yard penalty. That's a 50-yard penalty. It, 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 obviously, with it being a spot foul, you can go crazy. So defensive holding, it's like, it, and it, it's, it's so hard to play cornerback. But anyway... If he getting five picks at, at this age, his career, he, he doing something right. But with him having been in the league for so long, um, especially at the cornerback position, I mean, just in the NFL in general, but that shows that you have a, a level of intelligence, a high level of intelligence, especially at, at that playing, playing DB. Because um, if you're still being productive at that age in this league, then, again, you're doing something right so Steelers make a good move. This is a good signing for them, uh, especially with them losing Cam Sutton to Detroit. Um, but they certainly uh, replace them in a good way. Uh, so we'll see how it works out for him uh, with the Steelers. Um, I hope it goes well. Just not when the Steelers play against my Baltimore Ravens. Other than that, hey, P2, go out and do your thing.